This is a greenhouse. What are we doing? <laughs> I gotta think about things I'm gonna say about greenhouses real quick. There's really no con. So a greenhouse provides a really uh, temperature controlled and safe space for plants to grow, particularly when they're in the early uh, stages of starting. They're really sensitive to cold and heat fluctuations and uh, as, as well as wind can be enough to set them off. So a greenhouse is the place where we start our baby plants and we grow them up before they go outside to the garden. Um, the biggest downside of a greenhouse is, is, is the cost, but it gives that space to start um, and it really allows us the flexibility of starting our plants much earlier than we would otherwise out in the, the uh, just out in the garden. Um, and to make money as a farmer, you really have to beat the plants coming from the southern United States, uh, like Florida, Mexico, you have to beat that product, that produce to market. And the way that we can start our vegetables sooner is by having a greenhouse. So uh, I'd recommend a greenhouse to anybody that has uh, the money uh, and also has a larger growing area. If you're just growing uh, a garden for your family, you can get, a, get by with uh, starting your seeds indoors or, doing, or, or buying from a wholesale nursery. Um, I wouldn't recommend like a retail nursery because they're, 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 they're really expensive where you're paying like several dollars per plant. Uh, price is subject to change. But um, the wholesale nurseries are really the way to go to get cheaper plants uh, for you to, to plant out in your garden uh, and avoid the expense of the greenhouse. But this greenhouse is 30 by 36, and honestly, it's a very small greenhouse in the world of greenhouses. Um, I was saying earlier that this is about like one third of a size that would be considered a small greenhouse, and when you're touring, uh, gr uh, greenhouse operations and nursery operations, you would see these go on for, for days and days. Uh, and, and the whole properties are typically covered in greenhouses because that speaks to the economic of scale of doing anything. As an educational facility, we can get by with a little bit smaller greenhouse because it shows some of the state-of-the-art methods for, that uh, other people can implement. Uh, in their nursery operations, but it also gives us uh, plenty of plants to go out to, one, to sell to the public and smaller growers, and then two, to go out to our about two acre market garden that we have here. Um, greenhouses are covered in a variety of ways. We have a hard plastic clear span on this one uh, that we're in now. Um, it could be uh, plastic, you'll see glass. Glass is beautiful and it lasts a long time, but it has less uh, of a thermal value, an R value uh, associated with it. So you have to spend more time and more design uh, on your heating applications, whether that be electric or passive solar, or in our case, wood heat uh, through the heat more, uh, you know, outdoor wood boiler that we told you about in plenty of uh, times before. That's a huge recommendation. If I could recommend one thing to a greenhouse operator, it's get you an outdoor wood boiler. Uh, it'll really reduce your cost. When I put in uh, this, uh, so this was bought as a kit, right? And what they don't tell you is when you get a kit, uh, it's the bare minimum, right? Uh, it's like the army talking about your rifles are built by the lowest bidder. These kits are sold by price most of the time. And so you're attracted by the lowest price. Uh, but the, in, in this kit, they gave me a propane heater that you see hanging up back there. And um, I think in the first like 10 days or so, uh, definitely the first month I had filled that up. Uh, several times over and the cost of that is just not uh, conducive to growing plants where there's not a whole lot of profit margin in these things. It sounds like yeah there's a lot of profit margin you're just buying seed packs and putting them in the dirt but that dirt is extremely expensive if you're not composting and, and even if you are composting and making uh, your dirt mix with natural soil and then you have to buy like perlite or vermiculite and then peat moss to go into that. Um, it doesn't it, it, it's not widely economical to do that, but it is uh, widely economical to start your plants, grow them out in the, in the greenhouse, and then have the best food for you and your family. So if, you, if you're concerned about that and you want to build your own systems of survival, what we talk about at the Sustainable Homestead all the time, um, it's worth having a greenhouse. Uh, back to talking about covering. So we have glass, this polycarbonate, uh, clear span and then you have plastic too a lot of times you see that um, in, in uh, larger commercial applications because it just goes over and it's almost like a painter's drop cloth uh, and that, that's replaced pretty frequently we've had this 
uh, clear span for at least we're going on 10 years now and it's pretty durable um, it's probably about time for us to replace the plastic but because we have the frame it'll just go up pretty easy um, other so there's something else uh, so this is a greenhouse right it's temperature controlled we have heat uh, the other thing might be a hot house and you see tomatoes growing a lot in that and that gives you the ability to start in this case tomatoes uh, like two weeks uh, to a month earlier and then ex it extends your growing season on either side um, but it doesn't have heat. So there's a difference between a greenhouse and a hothouse that you should take into consideration what you're growing uh, and what you plan to be doing. If you don't plan on growing plants year round and having like fruit trees and stuff or fish, an aquaponics set up in your greenhouse, then you could just go with a hothouse in most cases. Uh, but in our case, in our application, the greenhouse made sense. There's other ways to extend your season too, whether that be uh, like milk jugs over top of your plants or plant coverings. Uh, or like caterpillar tunnels. There's lots of ways that we'll go into uh, coming up, but um, the best way is, is build a house. You know, if you're gonna be here for a while, build a house. You're not lost in the woods. You just don't have a home there. So that's why we teach survival skills. That's why we teach greenhouse planting is to make the most of your landscape. The greenhouse is definitely an element of that. Follow us for more at sustainablehomestead.com. Come out and see us. That's our claim to fame, right? Most commercial farms won't let you tour their facilities, and we're happy for you to come out and see all the things that we do for yourself. Um, it's just an offer that you won't get from commercial agriculture. It's an offer that we extend to everybody. We want you here because people are a part of the thriving ecosystem just like the plants are. Thanks for watching SustainableHomestead.com.